Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be talking about the unsplash API and we will be getting a random photograph from their API so if you go to source.unsplash.com this is the unsplash official website so this is the endpoint that we will be hitting here so if I just copy it and paste it here so this will be https source.unsplash.com slash random and after that you can just provide the dimension let's suppose I want to have 500 multiply by 500 so th this is width and height if I enter it I will get a photograph of this width and height and I will be embedding this inside my application so just create a new folder and inside this I will create a brand new index.html file and uh, here I will write my html code and javascript code so first of all inside this I will be writing the basic html which is required here let me have a title random photo using unsplash api and here we just need to include the bootstrap so what you can do here is that you can just type on google bootstrap cdn so the, and the very first link which comes in just click this link and just copy paste the css and make a link tag relative style sheet and the href will be equal to this link like this and now we have successfully uh, got the bootstrap and now we just want is uh, the body inside the body we will be having the container class of bootstrap so inside this container class we will be having a simple form and inside this form we will be having a form group class of bootstrap inside this we will be having a input type of uh, number here you can just have number here and this will be let me just give it a id of width so this will be responsible for the width and also we will be having a input field for the height also like this input type submit and uh, oh sorry input type number and also we will be giving a id of height so just make it as height and lastly we will be having a submit button so again we will be having a form group class and inside this we will be having input type of submit and the value will be get image and also let me just give it a bootstrap class of btn btn danger so this will get a red color and now we just need to uh, start our application right click it open with live server so basically this is the extension of live server it will open this application at this address and now if i just copy this address and open this inside chrome So you will see that guys this is the number here you can see that uh, let me just also give it a additional class of form control this is a bootstrap class to the input field to make it pretty form control so let me just repeat this for this also form control and now you will see that it will be uh, styled here this is you can just provide the numeric value here you can see that and if you click on get image you need to uh, get the image for embedding the image we will be declaring a div tag which will be having a id of image so inside this we will be populating our image and now inside uh, the script tag we just need to handle the form submit event so first of all we will be getting the form by document dot get element by id and uh, let me just uh, get it by the id that we have given to the form in single quotes we need to write form here and also let me just uh, give it an id to the form like this form id form so that i can just target it and now we just need to add an event listener to the form add event listener so when the form is submitted a callback function will execute holding the event object like this and first of all we just need to call this function 
e dot prevent default so it will prevent the form from auto submitting so that we can just execute the ajax so now we will be making a simple call to the api we will be dynamically be inserting a image element so we will be having this uh, image tag and in i will be writing the backtick symbol so inside this i will be writing my image tag image source will be equal to uh, in double quotes we will be writing our source so this will be equal to uh, https the same link that we have copied here let me just show you this is the link if you go to unsplash this is if you copy this link and uh, after this you just need to write slash and then the width and the height so i will be writing here only if you, in, in order to have uh, the variables in order to have uh, the variables you can just write dollar and followed by the uh, whatever the, is the width in order to get the width we will be declaring a width variable and again we will be using document dot get element by id we have given id of width to it like this in order to get the value we will be writing dot value so this will get the value and similarly for the height also like this we will write a height dot value so this will get the width and the height that the user types and now we will just concatenate it width like this multiplied by height like this so now we just need to close the image tag and now we just need to add it to the dom here so we will be using uh, first of all we will get the reference to the images div which we have declared inside our html so this will be images so let me just and uh, first of all in order to get the reference we will again be using document dot get element by id let me just copy this my keyboard is not working so here inside this you just need to pass here images what happened in single quotes you need to write here images so this is a div that we have given here inside our uh, let me just make it as images so after targeting it we just need to invoke a very simple method which will be images append to append child or you can use append I can use append child and pass the image element like this and now guys if I refresh the application if I give a width of let's suppose uh, 800 and also the height of 800 click on get image So it is saying that uh, append child failed to execute. Mm, let me just use uh, the append the append method, not append child. And now, if I refresh it. If I type a width, let's suppose 800 and a height of 800 and click on get image, uh, you will see that it is saying to me image source. Uh, 
it is not uh, getting the image let me just see if i just copy paste this and go to this link so you will see that image is coming here but but it is not displaying here or what we can do here is that we can just target this we can declare the image tag here inside our uh, let me just declare this image tag here image id we can just give it a id of uh, image img like this so close this and now we can just target this by the id that we have given img and now we can just uh, manipulate the source attribute of the image to this so that it points to this let me just delete this so just wait let me just cut this and here we can just do also cut this image dot source and source will be equal to this oh, sorry image dot source will be equal to whatever we have typed here so let me just copy this first of all copy this link So inside backtick symbol you just need to write this so let me just delete all this so cut this so now we are just targeting the image tag and dynamically setting the source attribute to it like this so just need to delete this also And now if I refresh it guys, if I refresh the application, hopefully it will go, it will display the image. If I type a number here, 800. So you will see that it, now it is displaying the image here. We are fetching successfully the image from the Unsplash API. You can even change it to whatever dimensions of your choice have 65 so now it will display this uh, 65 width and 465 height so in this way guys you can use this api very good api in order to generate random images so every time you have you will be seeing the random image being generated so you can even save this image onto your local system like this so in this way guys you can just generate random images using unsplash api in javascript so thanks very much for watching this video